Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is Bradford City versus Barrow AFC vlog. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and get 100 likes on today's vlog, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Don't forget as well to get your thoughts on today's game as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know who do you think was your man of the match for this one. It's obviously not going to be an easy game today. I know obviously Barrow are on a poor in a form at this moment in time, but we all know what Bradford City are like. We all know that Rochdale won one game in like 10, 12, something like that. And of course it was against Bradford City. We're coming off the back of two impressive wins against Stevenage and Tranmere Rovers where on Tuesday night against Tranmere, Tranmere didn't even have a shot on target, they didn't also have a corner either so fingers crossed for another dominant performance today, I'm going to go with a 3-0 home win, I'm going to go Andy Cook, Jamie Walker and Sam Stubbs to get the goals for Bradford City. But make sure you drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well and I shall see you all once team news is out. Here we have it then, here's how we line up for today's game at home to Barrow, just a one change from the last match, Aboisa comes in for the injured Matt Derbyshire, Scott Banks and Dara Costello find themselves on the bench. It's great to see Banksy back in the team. Don't mind that team whatsoever. I think now Canavan is starting as well for Barrow. Josh Kay, I think he's starting as well. He always loves a goal against us, but fingers crossed we can pick up another three points. Got to give credit to the Barrow fans for the run of form they're on. And the size of their club, that's a very good turnout. More than what Tramia brought on Tuesday. That's fantastic. Now, Canavan has decided to turn the two teams around, so we're shooting towards the cop in the first half. Who are you transferring out? Canavan gives a little smile. Come on, City. Down. Eventually, we'll be able to play it. Just for the last five minutes, he's been knocking in the room. He's been horrendous in this first half. 
obviously it's done nicely from both of these with looks like Derek Costello is coming on. Fourth position in the Kating additional time to be five minutes sponsored by Smith. Free kick in quite a dangerous area, left side of the penalty area. Right, so yeah, that was a bit of a small one, right out straight over it. Need a good ball here. Small takes, it's a deep ball in. Oh, for a ball kick. Absolutely dog shit. Half time, one nil by road. I think as we all expected, no changes at the break. We should have changed formation, we made two or three changes because that first half was absolutely abysmal. But no, fingers crossed, this second half is 300 times better than the first because that first half was horrendous. <laughs> Well then, what an absolute waste of time that was. Simply didn't show up today. A big opportunity for us to make it three wins in a row. I don't think we've done that all season. We just simply did not perform today. Barrow came with a game plan, executed it perfectly. You've got to give credit to them before I absolutely batter the Bradford City team because we were horrendous today. From minute 1 to 90, we did not like scoring. I haven't seen the stats yet, but I think there must have been only one shot on target all game, and that was obviously Barrow's goal. I don't really know what Clayton were doing. He had a poor game today. It's the worst I've seen him play in a Bradford City shirt, but a lot of players had really, really poor games. Hot ball fullbacks were shocking, servicing to the box was really poor. Now, the, the, the problem for me is 
the tactics. Now, I don't, I'm not one of these people absolutely batters when we're playing it out from the back. When we're, we're two and up, we're controlling the game. I have absolutely no problem with that. I'm a big advocate for Horik because it's obviously much more enjoyable to watch. And as a football fan, you want to see good football being played. You don't just want to see direct football. But with the way Barrow were playing, football on the floor today was simply not going to work. It was clear to see after 10 minutes. We all saw that. So why did it take until the 90th minute to start sending long balls long? And when we did, it worked really well. I don't know if that's the tactics today or the players didn't execute what Hughes's tactics were because whatever they were today it was just really poor it was just constantly Platt would get the ball play it to Halliday Halliday would play it back he'd go across to Stubbs and then Stubbs would go to ride out he'll play it back and we might make a pass into a midfielder and it was just constantly that and when Barrow have got that goal they were happy for the nil-nil but especially when they got that goal they were defending superbly and we could not break them down we needed to be more direct and to be fair Hughes's changes they were more attacking I've got to give him credit for that it just simply didn't work out today it's a big big opportunity wasted for whatever reason whenever teams come to Valley Parade on a poor winner form they just seem, seem to comfortably win we didn't really lay a glove on them at all today it was absolutely terrible but anyway that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed please make sure to drop a like on their form if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out don't forget as well to get your thoughts on today's defeat as well down in the comment section down below did any player really stand out for you today i thought they were all pretty poor apart from maybe costello when he went on the wing i thought he looked decent out there thank you all for watching though have a great rest of your day and i shall see you all next saturday for doncaster away over 4,000 bantams traveling to that one the boys better show up peace